Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss Garhagaya King's period. So let us start. Dihingya King was assassinated by one of his servant in 1539 AD. People thought that his son Su Klenmung was involved in the murder even though the allegations were leveled against Su Klenmung from different power lobbies, he was coroned as a king in 1539 AD and ruled for 13 years. The first thing he did as a king was that he ordered killer's brothers to be executed as a mark to show his non-complicity in patricide. Su Klenmung is also known as Garhagaya King as he shifted capital from Bokata to Garhagayan. His reign saw rising of Kushas. Ahum Kingdom had series of conflicts with Kush King Nar Narayan. In 1546 AD, Ku's forces entered north bank of Brahmaputra under commandership of Sukladhas alias Chilare. Ahums met Kush forces near Dikrai River. Battle line was drawn. This battle is significant for bow and arrow supremacy of Kush forces. Ahums lost the battle and many commanders died. Ahums tried to put up fights at Koli Aber and Sala but without any success. The invaders marched on. While engaged in these operations Kush army had been constructing a great road from Kush Bihar to Narayanpur, North Lakhimpur. Kush army pitch a camp in Narayanpur which was heavily fortified. Su Klingmung gathered all his forces and camped on the bank of Pizala River. This was strategic position which threatened communications of Kush forces. Kushes were forced for either to retreat at once or to assume offensive. They chose to be offensive and attacked the fort of Su Klenmung but suffered heavy losses. They took to their heels and thousands were taken as prisoners. These prisoners were later on executed. By this single victory, the Ahums reclaimed the lost territory. Rest of his reign was mostly peaceful except a few Naga uprising here and there which were dealt with iron fist. Thank you very much for listening. If you like the video please hit like button, share, and subscribe our channel on YouTube. Bye bye for today.